Before the pandemic, many workers struggled to make ends meet. The past year and a half has only made the struggle worse. Now the Michiganders who worked on the front lines in grocery and retail stores, warehouses, and sanitation during the COVID-19 pandemic struggle to put food on the table and provide for their families. These workers risked their lives to take care of us when we needed it most. Now it's time we do everything we can to take care of them. That's why we reintroduced the Working Hard for Working Families package, which was initially unveiled in 2019. It will protect and support working families by requiring temporary workers receive an opportunity for a permanent position when one becomes available, creating fair scheduling standards for employees, increasing the threshold for overtime pay, mandating meal breaks during shifts, providing childcare assistance to working families, and setting a $15 minimum wage. Michigan House Democrats have been working hard on these issues since before the pandemic, and we're committed to continuing the fight for workers' rights. Now it's even more critical that we put the well-being of these families first. The essential frontline workers put their lives on the line to keep society and the economy running throughout the COVID-19 pandemic and provide an outstanding benefit to the state in a time of crisis. Grocery store employees, healthcare workers, custodian staff, correctional officers, first responders, and other essential workers deserve to be compensated for the increased risk that they have took. More than half of all occupations in the U.S. with a medium wage below $15 per hour are considered essential. Some companies have stepped up and provided hazard pay for their employees, but many have not. These workers took the call and supported Michiganders when we needed them. Now it's our turn. We need to allocate some of Michigan federal COVID-19 relief funding to provide hero pay to all essential workers in our state. We must also protect workers and improve the job security so they have the opportunity to succeed. The lack of quality, affordable childcare does not only affect the parents, but our state as a whole. It can push hardworking Michiganders out of the workforce and require parents to take more time off of work, reducing a family's savings and financial security while contributing to the gender pay gap. We can't afford to let the child care cost hold back our economy or families from achieving their financial, educational, and professional goals. That's why my bill in this package acknowledges the financial burden this can place on families and allow a taxpayer to claim a child and dependent care credit based on their level of income to offset some of these costs. We must do everything in our power as a state to ensure our hardworking parents have the opportunity not only to survive, but thrive. And this bill takes us one step closer to that goal. But as more of us get back to work, we need to look back on how hard the past year has been for many families. We know that Michigan has the best workers in the entire country, but that didn't stop many from losing their jobs through no fault of their own as our economy shut down due to the pandemic. Some of those workers are still unable to find work to provide for their families. While they look for work, we must make sure these workers can still support themselves and contribute to the economic growth of our communities. My bills would require that any employee who loses their job as a result of things out of their control receives severance pay. This ensures they can continue to live their lives while searching for a new job. Working hard for working families. My name is Pam Owens Moore. I'm the vice president for SEIU Local One Union and also a member. So I truly understand the struggle that we have been through for the last past year. I support the use of federal funding to provide hazardous pay to essential workers. Yes, essential workers deserve hazardous pay. This has been a rough road for us. We have lost family members. We have lost our co-workers. We deserve it. We've been here. We've been here and we still here. Hi, my name is Ayesha Wells from Mother and Justice. Mother and Justice is a grassroots advocacy movement that advocates for mamas of color through policy change. The Working Hard for Working Families package is a no-brainer because in this country, working is a means of surviving. We work because we have to pay bills and feed our families 
and feed ourselves. These issues are a part of the basic human rights that are at the core of our mom's agenda. The road to mothering justice in America is advocating for policies that guarantee workers with basic human rights. The Working Hard for Working Families package provides working parents and families a set of common sense and basic yet essential policies that are frankly long overdue. This package ensures that, the, that those most marginalized, including mamas of color, are guaranteed the same rights and policy supports all Michiganders deserve. If this pandemic has taught us anything, it's taught us that Michiganders work hard to keep our state thriving. To Pamela and the countless other hardworking Michiganders, we want you to know that you have a right to know exactly how many hours you're going to work, that you have a right to know if you have an opportunity to grow within your company, and that you deserve a livable wage that allows you to provide for your family and get ahead. We reintroduce this package to do just that.